Two wins out of two for Thailand if they get there. It was far from easy though for Wang Charon against Oldorf. So next up for us, we move from one teenager to another because it's the women's singles. And this brings together Pitya Yapon Chaiwan of Thailand and Nella Nyquist of Finland, who is just 15 years of age. And the women just about to be called on to court. And some very interested spectators here to see how Nyquist gets on. She played yesterday. Went down 21-10, 21-6 but still impressed in the process. Remember they were playing the Chinese yesterday. Surprisingly, they've not met before. So there is young Nella Nyquist. Didn't seem to show too many nerves yesterday. So let's give you some details about both of these women. Just uh, 20 years of age. Ranked at 31. Not too often that a 20 year old is five years senior to her opponent, but that is the case here. She was actually the world number one ranked uh, junior just three years ago. And won a bronze in the Youth Olympics, did Chai Wan, from Lampang in Thailand. And what about her 15-year-old opponent? Wouldn't worry too much about that ranking of 1,010 in the world. She's uh, pretty much home because Vant is only females from Helsinki. It's only her fourth match of the year, actually. And as I said to you earlier, she is, much as Oldorf was, a national champion of Finland. So it'll be intriguing how she gets on against a player of uh, Chaiwan's talent. Kanasha Robertson of Belgium Ready to play. is in the umpire's chair for this one. And she'll be assisted by the Latvian service judge Gunnar's Lusferis. Second teenage singles player. 
and an inquest. So the Sokmar who in one line. patches yesterday showed glimpses of why she's so highly rated. Almost looked there like Charlon was doing that in slow motion, just steered that. Already can kind of see potentially Taiwan's tactics try and move Nyquist around the court here. Capitalise on her inexperience. Chaiwan was part of that. Two and cut per team. Last time out, that's going to go long. She actually changed her name. Uh, did Chaiwan after she went to a, a temple of prayer in in Thailand and they kind of changed her name try and bring her some luck and a brighter career in badminton. It may be a, a practice schedule and excellent coaching and probably work better, but she's um, she's got herself into a position in, in and around the world's top 30, which uh, isn't bad going at all for a 20-year-old. Just get the feeling that she's being schooled at the moment a little bit by Chai Wan. Melanie Quist. Wouldn't do her any harm to try and elongate the points a little bit because they've been pretty quick rallies. And when that happens, you suddenly look at the scoreboard and, and, and wonder how things got to that stage. 8 2 already. She did well to stay in the point there, Nyquist, and eventually got an award. So 11 so four it is, a healthy lead for Patia Poon at the interval.
Excellent judgment from Chai Wan. Plays that shot really well. <laughs> Two or three times that she's left. The teenager completely flat footed. All of a sudden, that score line has a pretty one sided look. Needs to keep her concentration, keep going. Doesn't matter what the scoreboard says. Can't buy this kind of experience being in with player there or thereabouts in the world's top 30. Mates keeping a very close eye on proceedings. Another wonderful shot. It's completely deceived the youngster with that. Well, that's broken a string of losing points. So five, Don't think eight, it's going to matter in the uh, final reckoning in this game, but they can feel a bit better. There's why. They're trying to give. 15 year old every possible bit of encouragement every time she wins a point. Flags are flying and the trumpets are blowing. And she's now only a couple of points away from losing this opening game. So 14 game points for Chai Wan. Just needed the one. 21 points to six in just nine minutes on court. It's been a breeze so far. For the tie, Nikwis needs to find some inspiration from somewhere.
20 seconds. Court one, 20 seconds. So what can Melaniquas find in this second game just to try and put that woman under pressure? Didn't happen in the opening game at all. Second game. Love all. Play. She'll have nightmares about oh. those kind of angled shots when, when she goes to bed tonight, never need twist. So many of them. She's been deceived on a regular basis by the type. Finally, she misses one. but again even with a little bit of help from the net it's the right shot to play as she knows but the uh, opponent just hasn't been able to deal with it now she goes to the other side another lightning fast start from Chaiwan in his second game really tough, They're clearly a, a huge golfing class. They're doing their best to try and raise their spirits. How many of those has she played? I think she's only missed one. The way she angles the racket head. Now that is a very clever shot from me, Chris. Certainly no shortage of team spirit in the finished camp. Service over, nine, three. Service over, four, nine. And again. So the sofa, 10, 4. Well, it'll be no consolation whatsoever to Nyquist. That was a really watchable point. She played a full part in it. And as most points this afternoon, it was Chai Wan who came out on top. And she leads 11-4 at the interval. Court 1, 
20 seconds. Part one, 20 seconds. Eleven four. Play. Twelve four. So, is there anything that Nila Nyquist can do to stop the rot? Square when it made contact with the shuttle, that's why it went wide. And this is becoming uh, an exhibition, really, from Pitcher Point Chai Wan. Kind of tempted to feel a bit sorry for Nina Nyquist, but she wouldn't want that, I don't think. Deception at will from the tie. Oh, that's an excellent response from Nikos. That will make her feel a bit better. That was a top class shot. However, this is an inexorable march towards victory from Pity upon Chai Wan. Just three points required only on court for 17 minutes so far. I'm not sure we're going to be on here for much longer. Sets up 14 match points. And that'll do it. It really was a lesson. We should look back on that in a few years, uh, Nina Nyquist, and maybe it was a look at it as a formative lesson, but either way, just 18 minutes on court was all that. Pitcher for Chai Wan required to secure the victory. Absolutely no mercy, and I don't think Nikos would have wanted that either. Certain symmetrical nature to that score. 21 6, 21 6. Both games just nine minutes apiece. And of course, Thailand now confirmed as winners of this tie with a three love lead. But as ever, we will always play all five because in the final reckoning, they may be needed to sort out ties of teams a level on points in the group. Nikos just had, didn't really have any answers today. That shot, a little cross court, deceptive shot, so profitable. And the fact is that Chimon was just vastly superior in all aspects of the game. But remember, she's 20, she's near the top 30 in the world. Nyquist just 15, still learning, still maturing as a player, obviously. Action going on, as you can see, we've got the Danes playing the Russians and Indonesia and Canada. But we will be back very shortly. And next up for us will be some men's doubles action. So don't go away.
Well, a warm welcome back to the Energy Arena uh, here in Ranta as we continue our coverage of this Sudaman Cup group match between Thailand and Finland. And we've still got the men's and the women's doubles to come. And first up, it will be the men's doubles match. <laughs> 